At Desert Edge High School, the crowded halls have become a huge problem. With over 1,700 kids navigating the halls at one time, many students find it nearly impossible to move freely and sometimes breathe without constantly touching another person. And come to find out, our suffering may have been caused by an attempt to cut corners in the early years of the school. Hallways are so skinny because uh, according to what I've heard, and this goes fairly high up, they shrunk them by 18 inches in order to save costs when building the school, when originally building Desert Edge back in 2002, which wasn't a big deal when we only had a freshman class here, uh, but is now. And after studying the traffic for years, many school admin had advice for kids walking in the hall. Well, the best thing for the highway traffic is to use the outside pathways. So if you have to go from D Hall to dance or whatever, I know a lot of people already do that, but go outside, don't you know, stay away from ground zero. Um, anytime you can avoid ground zero by going outside, that's the best option. And even if you find it impossible to use an outside route, even the smallest changes can make a huge impact on the flow of the halls. Comment to add for hallway traffic is people should not stop in the middle of the hallway and chit chat and you keep walking and go with the flow of the traffic. All in all, students will continue to be stuck in these halls, so it's just best to get along and get where you're going. This is Ned Duarte for DETV.